Hey everybody, so welcome back to the channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the Phillies and the Tigers uh, spring training game today. So, the, before we, so today, to get started, let's hop right into it. So, the Phillies start in Lamb Head. Quinn leading off in the left field. Kingery in, in center. Harper was the DH that hit in third. Bohm was the cleanup hit playing third base. Odubel Herrera was in right, batting fifth. Uh, Will, yeah, Luke Williams hitting sixth, playing short. Derek Hall playing hitting seventh, playing first. Ronald Torres also played second and third. Uh, he was batting eighth, and the nine spot was Jeff Mathis. He was behind the plate. So today the Phillies won by the score of two to zero against the Detroit Tigers. Wheeler got the win. Jimenez was got the loss and save belonged to Hale. Now, so that may that that puts Philly the Phillies at eight eight and one for the season, and then that drops Detroit to seven and nine. So you know during the game, the first three innings. Well, let's talk. Let's go with this way. Wheeler kind of struggled in the first thing, but like the next four innings, he would kind of just he was on pretty much on cruise control. Um, so. Basically, it was a pretty much a combined shutout between between Wheeler and the bullpen. So for the first three innings, uh, you know the Phillies were held scoreless until the fourth inning. They put two up on the board, and from, from innings five through eight, they were pretty much held scores. Pretty much, they were held scores for eight innings, but only scored in the fourth inning. And Detroit pretty much been held scoreless through. The not through nine innings or the nine innings. So now, and if you're a baseball fan or a Phillies fan in general, you'll know we have we have two competitions. One is for the bullpen, or for the closer that is, and center field. But the best bet we're going to have is Oduble, who has been kind of raking in spring training. You know, he, even though he cooled off here and there, but he's still he's still performing for a guy who's not playing who hasn't played in about a year. So, let's go over. So, Quinn w was in left. He went one for two with a walk. So, that bumped his average up to 318 with an OPS of 809. Uh, Jankowski was a defensive, was his pinch hitter. And also, yeah, was a pinch hitter. He went 0 for one. But he, that kind of, because now he's hitting 238 with a 606 OPS in spring. Which I know spring trick. Spring training doesn't really mean jack jack squat basically. So King, now this is where we get into the. I guess you could say a debate. Do we really need Scott Kingery? From in my personal opinion, I don't think so because he's not. I don't think he's not gonna. He's not gonna be. People say, I mean, look, signing that con. He even though he signed a large contract, like he's not gonna live up to it. I don't think he will. But he played center. He went over two with a strikeout. You know, hitting abys an abysmal 111 with an OPS of 432, which that's complete. Well, then again, Burling came in as a pinch hitter. He's hit a little bit. He has a bet a little bit of a better. He only he has he has an average of seven points higher than Kingery at 118, but K Kingery pretty much has a higher OPS. You know, they're not good. So Harper was the DH. He struck out three times or. Basically, got, he got the hat trick and strikeouts. Um, yeah, hitting two thirty five with a nine sixty three OPS. You know that's not too bad. Uh, Bo, yeah, well, Bethancourt was a was his pinch hitter. He went zero for one with a strikeout. So he he hasn't he has doesn't get does he doesn't have a hit in spring. Um, Boehm went one for three with a strikeout, but he's 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 also worked raking as well, hitting three twenty with a nine seventy four OPS. Uh, Stodd took over uh, as a pinch hitter and in the field, but he only went 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Uh, I mean, you got to give him some time, you know, 143 with a 286 e uh, OPS. So, uh, he's, he's got, he's got, he's got, like, like, like I said in my previous videos, like, he's got more, he's got some time to develop. Now, Odubel Herrera is, you know, if you're a baseball fan, you know what's going, what happened with him last year, you know. Well, the domestic violence charge and all that stuff, you know, I'm not going to get right into it because 
and it's been it's been really been talked about and you know it's pretty much done and over with you know i think he deserves a second chance so right now he's he went one for three with the run scored and drove in a run struck out once um Hitting 269 with an ear with not an ear, but an OPS at 885. Uh, Rojas came in as a pinch hitter and also a defensive replacement. All he went 0 for 1. You know, he, he's hitting 083 with a 237 uh, OPS. Luke Williams, um, he went 0 for 2 with a, with a walk and two strikeouts. You know, where there's really nothing special out of him, but. You know, I mean, they have some decent... Pro- Phillies always had decent prospects, but Stott, I know they're taking their time with. Um, Let's see. Hall went two for three with two... Du- and obviously, those two guys were doubles. With a run scored, uh, struck out once. I mean, he, he actually looked pretty... De- he looked pretty decent today with the 227... Actually, no, a 222... Batting average with an OPS of 874, which that's not too that's really good. If you get anything an OPS above 800 between the, the eight and 900, you're doing pretty well for you're pretty much a good, a decent, uh, you know, you're pretty much doing good offensively. Anything below that, you're above average to below average. Let's put it that way. So, and then Derek Hall, actually, no, I'm sorry, Ronald Torres, he was he played second and third today, so. He went one for three with an with an RBI, struck out once, you know, hitting sub two hundred with a six six oh six OPS. Like I said, you know, that's kind of a you know below average. I think above average, it's like seven like fifties to low eight hundreds. Well, of the seven fifties, in my opinion, I would consider above average an above average offensive offensive player. And then Mathis came in, or Math- Mathis went over two for today with a walk, two strikeouts. I mean, he's only known as a defensive catcher, but he's been 14 seasons in the league. Um, he's at 174 five, with a 513 OPS. Like I said, that's a blowout, blow average, but we all knew that he was going to be a defensive catcher one way or the other, depending on you look at it. So, and then Cabral. Obviously, uh, replaced him in the in the field. Uh, bullpen looked absolute. You know, bullpen looked really good. Uh, Wheeler went got the win, going five innings, giving up four hits, uh, striking out four. That brought his ERA to down to a four oh five. Nary getting Hector Neris got got his, got his second hold. He only pitched an inning, struck out two with the sub four ERA, which. At three point eight six, you know, I I mean, you know, okay. So with Naris, Naris is, is one of those guys. Is, I'm kind of conflicted. Say like he's going to have a good game one day, and he's going to he's going to fuck up the next day. So, uh, same with Alvarado and Bradley, who they all have set two holds for, for the spring. Alvarado went one inning, struck out three, get, gave up a hit. I mean, there's no you're you ain't gonna you're not gonna hit Jose Alvarado. Especially have a sinker of a hundred mile an hour sinker from the left side from a lefty. Eh, that's tough with a with an exceptional breaking ball in the in the high eight mid to high eighties. Uh, Bradley came in. He pitched an inning, walked one, struck out one. That gave him an ERA of one point eight zero. And then Hale got the save. He came in in the ninth. Pit, you know, walked one, struck out two. And it brought his ERA down down to one point four two. Um. So that you know those pitch. So those five five guys pitched nine innings. So far, gave a total of five hits, no runs, no only walk two and twelve strikeouts. Now, if Neris, Albert, if they if the bullpen can do like you know can do what we what we're supposed have the expectations that what they're supposed to do. Then I think we should be fine, you know, you know, because that's other than the starting starting rotation, you know, the bullpen was also a biggest concern. Also, G, signing sign G, JT was our biggest priority. If you haven't checked that out, I, that's already up on my channel, so I'm not going to get into that. But like I said, you know, 
the failures look good so far. You know, there's going to be a, you know, probably I'm saying there's going to be more moves coming to trim down the roster for the opening for the opening day roster. But uh, if you like what I'm putting out, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make, leave your co like comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, you know, I mean, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.